VicomRepair.com. We're all in this together. We get asked quite often, hey, do you guys do 58 volt mods, 54 volt mods, 52 volt mods, voltage mods? Your answer is that no, we don't do voltage mods. And we stopped doing them probably, oh, I don't know, maybe around 2010. And the reason why is the uh, results that we saw. What we saw is that there was reliability hits that are taken when you um, go ahead and voltage modify a thickum. Now this is not to say that there aren't performance enhancements by running a voltage modified thickum, but it is to say that when you uh, go ahead and do it, you lose reliability. The short answer is uh, you're driving on the road and everything's couple and wonderful and you get your camper behind you and the kids in tow and everything's great and you're ready to go out and head out on your family vacation and all of a sudden it's like somebody cut off the key and you're wondering what that burning smell is. That burning smell, it's called money. So what's happened is the circuitry inside here is not designed to take that level of juice. And even if you upgrade the individual capacitors and the individual MOSFETs and the individual resistors and everything else inside there, to will handle the extra juice. Um, the, the back plane of the board still can. It just generates too dang much heat. And so it just goes belly up. Not to mention the benefits seen through, through drivability, so better throttle response and whatnot, um, can be seen in software just anyway. So you can go ahead and you can score a tune on the FICM. If you score a tune, you're gonna get the exact same benefits without any of the drawback. Now, in addition to that, you've got your injectors, which are, those coils weren't built to handle more than 50 volts. And so when you push harder, the voltage like pressure, when you push harder, you're actually shortening the life of your solenoids. Um, and the injector builders, several of them have said, yeah, that's that totally true. Uh, so you've got that reason. So you've got reliability issues, you've got the injectors weren't really built for it, and then you've got a third issue. So normally on a, on a standard on a standard module that operates between 45 and 50, uh, you're like, okay, fine. Uh, I'm operating at 43, this module's bad, period. Well, you get a module like this that's doing 58, say, or 54, and all of a sudden it's going bad. And so it, it might report as being 47 volts. You're like, yeah, it's still within range. But what you don't realize is that no, actually it's not within range. And so you uh, you chase your tail, you chase your tail, you chase your tail, looking for all the various things that are possibly could be going on with your truck, only to find out that the thickum was the culprit all along. And you're like, mother of God. <laughs> <laughs> right? And so, uh, rather than chase your tail trying to find problems, uh, only found out that it was the Vicom, rather than shorten the life of your injectors, and if you, if you want to do that, I mean, we sell them, so I'll sell you some injectors, but I'd rather not. And I'd rather not ruin your day or your vacation with your family or whatever else by causing a thing just to die on its own volition, just <laughs> belly up one day and you're coasting the side of the road with a, with a burnt up 50 amp fuse in position 103 underneath your steering column commonly. Um, so if you want to avoid that, don't get a voltage modified module, but if you like the benefits that a voltage modified module provides, then go ahead and score a tune like the Atlas 40 tune. You'd be very, 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 very happy with. So I hope this video made some sense to you. Um, they, they just turn into charcoal inside and you're, and you're, you're getting a tow bill. That's what's, that's what's going to happen to you. And we don't want that for you. So any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, any thoughts, whatever. Uh, and I know that your best friend's cousin, son-in-law's brother, you know, been running for 50,000 miles, no issues. Maybe that's been you too. And if it is, you know, praise God, the A-team, and thank Jesus, right? But what I'm here to say is that there are so many people that haven't had that result. There are so many people that have been left on the side of the road. There's so many people that have burnt up their, 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 their uh, uh, solenoids in their, in, in their injectors. And the fact that, that, that your buddies, uh, experience has been different that really is great i don't wish that on him uh or her but the uh what i'll tell you is that there's just too many experiences where folks have had problems and we don't want that so um at any rate i hope this helps um any questions please ask okay so fic and repair we're almost together all right thanks guys take care